At the big Thanksgiving <laughs> show, and I was telling people this not too long ago, my favorite part of the whole night is that Chip gave me his own intro to read. Oh, yes. I, <laughs> I just deadpanned it to the crowd, which was kind of, a, it was like a throwback to the old Tenacious D yeah. videos. But um, just to see it dawning on people that Chip was coming up. <laughs> it was fucking great. That was very fun. Um, yeah. And then just to do the joke, I watched the, the moment... We're, and Chip dropped the mic. It just happens. Well, you want to while we're yeah. talking about it before we move on. You want to you want to hear these big A insult jokes? I would like to. I yes, I'd love to. Which ones do you have, Travis? Do you I have, have uh, I have yours. Well, uh, Jim's. Uh, oh, I didn't guys. know Big A took a sh took a shot at me. <laughs> All right, so you got that from the Thanksgiving show, right? Yes. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> just you could probably just do it as bringing him up. And, yeah, I have your intro as well. Yeah. And, and just let it roll in if you want to stop it. Right, but taking shots. Uh, okay. He roasts people. You know, Big A said to me, I only roast the ones I love. Oh, he said that. He did say him. He understands the sentiment. Uh, and he sure. Uh, he'll tell you something else, and this might even help you with your stand up. He works with cards. Jimmy, if you just had oh, wow. some, you know, small cards, you'd be able to keep the act together. You're not sitting there memorizing them. I do panic. <laughs> yeah. 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 You forget your punchline, <laughs> right. your setups, like small yeah. cards. You get a little index yeah. card. Yeah, little index cards. You're going through it. Sure. Helps. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's no teacher yeah. here. We're not taking tests, Because right? a lot of times, Jimmy, you're great, but you you forgot a joke. I forget my place. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I rely on keywords, whereas right. what he does, he allows the energy of the moment to carry him through. Right. And then uh, there's no need to worry about what you're going to say next. Right there on the card. There's, a, yeah. there, there's another card. Yeah. For the next joke. All right. So let's take. So these are all cut up as separate clips. This is at the, well, any way you want to do it. This okay. is uh, Big A at uh, Thanksgiving show. There's still somebody out there, ladies and gentlemen, ready to walk that line. <laughs> it's Big A, the insult comic. Big A. 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 Listen to him. It really sounds like a soccer game yeah, now. It, it really it does. Big A. Well, he's going on a little while. Wow. Big A. Big A. I swear to God, it sounds like the advice I give myself in the mirror every morning. <laughs> B. <laughs> So that's his yeah, oh. see, Jim Norton is here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Everyone knows Jimmy likes chicks with dicks. <laughs> so why is he um, doing a morning show with a dude with a pussy? Oh, <laughs> oh I caught that one. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you want to play? <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, even when it's even when it's headed in your direction, sometimes you just got to tip the hat to the. Absolutely, you, you gotta... can't be the hypersensitive cunt that gets offended <laughs> okay. while everybody else is laughing. All right, so we started with joke two. I feel like there's some Let's misdirected energy in the one. room. Oh. That was the shot at me. The shot at you? Okay. Yeah. Um, I see one. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Yeah, Ron, yeah, yeah, Ron used to do his show with a known homosexual. <laughs> That's true, big guy. Now he does a show with his daughter. Nothing much has changed. <laughs> Except now Ron doesn't get to blow his... Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the pacing is where yeah. it really lands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big I also a. like it's awesome. The thing that's great about Big A is you're not sure if he's going to use the clinical term or if it's going to be a slur when he goes homo. <laughs> you're like, you can't say that sexual. Oh, look oh. at the card. That is funny, Ron. It, God damn. It. Right, and he'll he'll go off the cards. That's good. Yeah, that's it's good. working with cards. This is uh, him with Anthony. Oh, my see Anthony Cumier is here. Cumier. <laughs> Uh-oh. I, I see. <laughs> what does Anthony Cumier and Mrs. Ron Howard have in common? What's oh. that, Big A? <laughs> um, they both got uh, fucked by Opie. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it again. Nailed it again. 
<laughs> he's strong. Fearless, too. Yeah. Well, he's got the crowd on his side. He does. You know? Yeah, yeah. And the cards help. The cards help, It's all Jimmy, about the please. cards. We call them confidence cards. I yeah. understand. Yeah. They're very, very important. He really did kill. They love yes, him. Yes, they more love cut. him. Oh, there's another one. What's Please. It? Okay, I'd love Last to hear one. it. Um, I see um, Hard Rock Johnny is here. <laughs> I see. The Hard Rock is is such a great place. I'm to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes just short. Sometimes just short is better. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he won't. He, he wouldn't drop it like four times in a row. I see. Yeah. I see. So and so is here. Like, yeah. just genius. I just did, love it. Did they show? Send, I don't know whether you guys even want to keep doing this. Sure. Mm -hmm. But this is him at the stand. Did did do you get that? Check with Chris Stanley. He was supposed to send it to you. Yeah, it was because. Uh, I'd, I'd be happy to hear more Big A insult stuff. He's, Big A uh, is a true delight. Yeah, he is, and he's uh, he's just so insulting. He you is, know? and it hurts, but it also helps. But I, w I was thinking this. I think I'd feel bad if he didn't pick on me and uh, he did everybody else. I'd right. feel left out. Yes. Right. You know? You're right. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to know that someone likes you, right? and anyone who understands humor knows that being made fun of is good. Yes. Right. right. Yes, yeah. that's, that's how I feel. Although, unless you're... Unless you're uh, Q-tip and you're mad at the Grammy Awards. Oh, see that? Yeah, where, where yeah. Have you been? Did you? Did you? I know Jay Z that? got eight nominations. I didn't give a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Jim! I know we're trying to be controversial and I don't give here, a turkey. But I mean, this is too much. They announced the. Uh, they, he doesn't give a turkey. I what can I, I tell steal you? That. I'm, it's gonna be my new thing. But who gives a turkey? <laughs> That's from Smokey the Bandit. When Snowman and Ban, hold on. <laughs> but they did. They announced a. Uh, they announced the Grammy nominations, yep. uh, and a couple people are upset about it. Uh, Ed Sheeran fans got upset. I don't blame them because this was the this was the first year in 19 years that no no white man has been nominated for album of the year. Really, which is probably just a coincidence. They probably didn't do that politically. For I don't so know, black. Sam. You're very you got believing. Oh, maybe you're right. Oh yes, Sam. literal yeah. people so are literal. Black. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, but it, it made Ed Sheeran fans upset. Sure, because they felt like his album should have been nominated. And he's being victimized by the times. Right. Yeah. Maybe they, his fans give a turkey. Let's they do. They do. They they do. Give a turkey. They do. And then Q-Tip was super pissed. He put out a video because oh, good. You know, Q-Tip's in a tribe called Quest, mm -hmm. and uh, Fife Dog. Fife Dog died this year, right? Yeah, it's terrible. And uh, so this is the last tribe Fife called Dog Quest sure. album. He performed last year at the Grammys and it really seems like it was one of those things where there was an understanding like yeah I don't yeah. want to perform but I will perform if to get to Grammy and then they didn't nominate him for he just he's not even asking for album of the year he's asking for best rap album yeah and they didn't nominate, not even nominated for that they didn't nominate is it Tribe good for best yeah, rap yeah, album but they're eh, fucking not really. 50 it's not you great I mean? like, so it's Jay-Z it's a young man's game I'm 50 40 or 50 yeah yeah, what no. happens? You get better with age. <laughs> Do you? That is no, true. Yeah. you don't. <laughs> you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't get better with age. You don't? No. You're not doing the best work of your life? In some things, I am. Radio? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jimmy, you're 50 years young. Atta boy, Ron. That's, that's what point. I say I mean, to myself. You look at it. Absolutely. I'm look. still ordering a chin up bar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jay Z got nominated for album of the year and rap album. Of He's the year. saying it wasn't yeah. good enough, though. Maybe the album just wasn't good enough. Troy Which didn't one? like it. I love Old Tribe Called Quest. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're one of the greatest of all times, and this album was pretty weak. Yes, I I will agree with you because I saw them on, on SNL and I thought, oh, this is beneath them. Yeah, because they were fuck. They were oh the, yeah, they were the sound of New York in the nineties. Yeah, I mean that yes. was just they were the. Soundtrack. What was the big song? I mean, I, I remember they let stuff. everybody know that we could kick it. Yes, we, yes, can. we can. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we can. Yes, how would it go? No, yeah. what? How would it go? Yes, can. we can was Obama. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Fucking, that was eight great years. <clears throat> oh, I'm thinking of In My Can. Okay. <laughs> can I kick it? Yes, you can. Can I uh, kick it? Uh, I'm thinking so. Yeah, this absolutely was the sound of 90s New York hip hop. Yeah. Me and and it's still, I mean, it's still holds up. Me and my friends just listen to we were up tagging trains. We'd just be Is that right? Down, yeah. <laughs> Because you get the tags up yeah, way high, this. right? Yeah, I get them up high. That's you know so what I mean? cool. That's so cool. My uh, tag was, was always, Ron was here. Oh, and, man. Uh, yep. Kind of getting well known for it. Wow, yeah. That's right. Hey, are you Ron was here? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Ron was here. Yep. Yeah. So this was, this was he like, sounds a little bit like Rakim when he raps. 
in that cadence, like that, 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 that black. Oh yeah, yeah, he just has a, a rocking voice. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, look. What was the big song by then? This was not the biggest song. This was. Uh, a, I would, what was uh, that Apple award tour? What? Maybe. This was pro- one of their biggest songs. It, but for there sure. was a, there was one that was bigger. Well, this was huge, but I can't that, remember the uh, Benita Applebaum or some fucking shit. Was like that, that them? Yeah, Benita Applebaum. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Oh yeah, that was yeah yeah yeah. I didn't realize Let's it was them. This one was pretty big too. Let's get zip into the mid. It does kind. Of, yeah, this was huge. Yeah. There is something about complaining about not getting nominated for a Grammy on social media that makes me think that you probably shouldn't have been nominated for a Grammy. Like when you post a video like, hey, where's my award? It's almost like, yeah, you probably stop. Probably wasn't for They're you. It's just not relevant in today's hip hop. I'm sorry. They, they deserve their place in hip hop history, right. but not Although today. I will say, I, I uh, you know, at least be honest about the fact that the awards mean something to people. Right. Like if you say like, yeah, man, we really wanted that. And we feel like a Grammy does mean something. You know, you yeah. don't want to say that these awards mean nothing. And then when you're not offered one, be angry about it. Just admit that it means something and then be angry about it. But it means album sales. Well, do, are you up for a Grammy for uh, Best Comedy album? I am. I'm voting for you. It means a lot to me. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm voting for you. That's, that's in the bag. I am not even, I wouldn't even be nominated if there was a category for Best Comedy Specials with De Niro in the opening. <laughs> I wouldn't be nominated. Well, you didn't put your, your, your special out as an audio, right? You didn't put out a CD, did you? I don't know. So then, yeah, I mean, that's the only reason you weren't nominated. You didn't put out an audio. I don't. I don't think Jerry did either. Did he with that fucking? Was he nominated? Yeah. Oh, oh that's his, great for the yeah. Netflix thing. Yeah, that's for good. The, Forty-year-old uh, jokes. That's yeah, good. The, the jokes I wrote in middle school, which was great. It was a good special. Yeah. His principal was fat. <laughs> I mean, I was a fat guy. That's cool. It's really cool. I'm glad the Grammys just jumped in on that. That's good stuff. Well, it's not, it's not, it's it's on merit. It's not on name. Oh. They're not just trying to get Jerry Seinfeld to show up to their ceremony. Oh, they're not. Okay. No, 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 no. 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 It's based okay, on... cool. They, they, it's a Grammy performance. You take stuff from 1978. Good stuff. <laughs> it's freshened up. Yeah, absolutely. Terrific stuff. Yeah, it's freshened up. Hell we used yeah. to go around the corner to the good diner. This is where we <laughs> stayed. <laughs> Travis has what we were looking for with Big A before. Oh. Good. Was Big, Big A nominated? Yeah. Yes, he was. Roast Master of the Year. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, if I'm Jeff Ross at the moment, yeah. I'm sweating harder than Matt Lauer, I guess. That's, that's good. The best that's part of reference. that was watching you yeah. Wiley Coyote <laughs> off the cliff with a reference. I got it. I, I, I feel watching like Watching those I, legs <laughs> spin. <laughs> Matt Lauer on steroids. Am I right? Guys? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm like Matt Lauer on crack, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> try the veal. <laughs> Even that reference. Even try the veal is no good. It isn't, right? No, because no one serves veal in a comedy club. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Hope he gets shot in the throat like Salazzo. <laughs> I'm always like this. Is there veal? Because I'll have some. <laughs> yeah. Try the veal the best in the city. <laughs> All right, this is Big A. The this is, I, have, comic. I have two. I have one of Anthony and one of Eastside Dave. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, I see Anthony Kumi is here <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Why does Anthony uh, like salt and, and not pepper? Why is that, Big A? Uh, uh, because pepper is black. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, say Dave, who would know the big A. Chet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's not around. No, we don't. How well, many people did you do shows with? I did Dave, Than, uh, obviously I did o and I did the after show, this did the is- pre-show. This is starting to feel like we're not going to see Norton again. Yeah, did the solo show. All his people actually disappear. And that's true. The entire staff of the they solo really do. show doesn't yeah. work They're here gone. anymore. They're gone. What happened to Than? He, he quit. Yeah, he quit and works in video games. He quit, but then he got... He was so pissed, man. He he quit, and then after he quit, he, he, I think he still wanted to do Than and... Well, he definitely still wanted to do Than and Sam. But like he wasn't around, and Dave was like, hey, we should do a show. And I was like, yeah, let's definitely do a show. And, like, I started having a good time doing that, and Than wanted to come back every, like, six months and do a Than and Sam show. He's like, what the fuck, man? I thought this was the future. And I was like, what? I thought this was a hobby. Yeah, he, um, he, uh, it's funny, I, I see him, like, once every year or so, once every two years. But I remember trying to talk him out of quitting. Um, it was on, like, West Third. I remember we were talking. I'm like, dude, there's a comic you can plug. But, he, you know, he was married. He wanted to have kids. He just wanted to go in that direction. Yeah. It was a decision. It wasn't like he got forced out. 
No, absolutely not. We, we all like Finn. Yeah, yeah, and he still works in video games, doing yeah. like uh, playing them. Yeah, he was actually he's playing, playing video games. He, the, yeah, he, testing for, them for Rockstar. For a while, he was doing the stop motion thing. So yeah. like when there are commercials or YouTube videos or whatever with like. Oh, look at this cool shit you can do in this game. That was Than playing the game. Really? Yeah, that was his job for a while. Well, see, I ask him when they're bringing Asteroids back. I'd love to, you know you That's I mean? your game? I'd love to get back into it. Dude, I like the old console, though. I, I, yeah. I need the old standing up yeah. console, the old uh, machines, the arcade machines. You're not good with the systems? No. With the, with the PlayStation? Right? No. Even though yeah. you were one of the best, right, when you were younger? I was good. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, these guys were a lot better, but 1981, I was good. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you were, if I, it's look, paper. What was your, yeah, I saw it. It was amazing, but. 4.8 million. 4.8 million was my Asteroids high yeah. score. But again, it's. People killed it. I uh, I think I went to thirty five hundred once on asteroids. It could be tough. Yeah, it I could be t- hyperspace. Could be tough. Big risk. Yeah. I yeah. can't even hear these scores because you know one of the best things that came out of the show that Dave and I did together was the relationship that we formed with Billy Mitchell, right, the king yeah. of the video game. So I mean, when you talk high scores, were you av- av- aware of him in that time? Did no, you know? I did. No, I didn't care about that fucking nerd and his dumb tie. <laughs> 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 fucking busy. What about his, his, his sauce? Hanging out with my friends and his, his wing sauce. I didn't know about well, that. Well, dude, there's that place. Where is it? New Hampshire, where that, where they Fun spot? It? Yeah, I stopped there before. Me too. Did you? Yeah, and it's fucking all the old games. Yeah. And well, yeah. Is it crowded? There. No. Nobody. Nobody. It's as fucking dead as disco. Really? It's, yeah. Everything works on tokens. You know, you got to get yeah. the Fun Spot tokens. Yeah, I had a friend who got married, and I realized that Fun Spot was 10 minutes away. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to check this out. And you're right. It was just old games, no people. Wow, so how do they stay open, or is it just for nostalgia, or is there somebody... They, there's a meth lab uh, in, the, <laughs> in the basement, and uh, keeps them going. Now, I don't know anything about, I don't know how they keep it, I was, I thought it was going to be like you, like, oh, I'm going to go there, and it's going to be really, because young kids will want to play these old games. No. But why would they? Really and it, mobbed? And it wasn't like, uh, it, it's not like retro, like Barcade in New York is like, they cash in on the retro appeal of yeah. these old video I've games, been there. but like, it was just old. Right, it was just yeah. like an old arcade. It wasn't. It, it didn't feel like, oh man, this is so. This is like when I was a kid, even though it actually was that. You know, it wasn't. It wasn't. It didn't. Have, it still and, smell. Oh, the, the, the new. The new one is nice, or it feels kind of. Barcade is nice. See what happened? They also. By the way, this is how when they try to go back and grab stuff. Pornhub opened a uh, a pop up store yeah. in yeah. Soho. It's like you know, can do you have to do it in Soho? Bunch of fucking rich ladies with their dogs looking at a naughty lotion. Ooh, uh-huh. lotions and potions, tee hee. I think show the, me a hole in the wall, you goose. I think. <laughs> I think all they wanted to do was the publicity yeah, behind it for the website. So Pornhub were, is a massive. They do fifty, sixty thousand hits a week. Is that right? Fuck yeah. Could actually be yeah. a bit. More uh, than more. that. Um, yeah, because I mean, they're not going to get the press if they just open it in like a seedy area. That's true. They're not going to get the press. Like they had people like, oh, I can't yeah. believe that Pornhub is opening in this neighborhood. I mean, even the... that. Look how clean and uh, you know what I mean. That's you what wanna, exactly. Yeah. You want to see the deuce? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You want to see ugly, fat, toothless <laughs> women screaming at you? Yeah. Yeah. No, they want to. They want to. They want to class up the brand. They really do. They want a cleaner image. Yeah, and just get the just get the the logo out there. That's all they want. Do you have a grill at your house? Uh, Hibachi. I have a shitty, a shitty grill that I wouldn't really use. I mean, we got to get a real one. Yeah. Dude, do you think when I'm thinking that fucking in the spring, first warm day of spring, all the shows come together, go to your place, and we just fucking grill up some steaks? I love that. Yeah. Wait, now would you want to? See, I can't be where I live. I can't have a, a gas grill. Right. Because you know the cities are fucking. Right. So I'm not gonna get. I have like a little Weber outdoor. No, I, I've never used. I think, yeah, by the end of the winter, I'm going to get a grill. Do you want a uh, a gas grill? I don't know. No, you don't want gas. No, I don't want gas. You I want charcoal. Old school, yeah. Old yeah, you, school. Do you really want charcoal? Probably. They yeah. say it's good for you. Gets in the lungs and it just helps right. fortify the lungs. Right. But, but it's a small, they're only so big. They're not that big, charcoal yeah. grills. I, I've, I have no idea what I would get. I'm, I'm not well versed in, in If grilling. you're going to get a gas grill, just fucking cook it in your kitchen. What's the difference? You think so? Yes. Yes. Mm. You'd get a you'd get a, yeah. a you prefer a charcoal grill? Of course. I get that one. 157? I can I can swing that. I think this is just a smoker. Oh fuck. A smoking smoke and wrangler or... grill. Yeah, you don't want that. A smoke and wrangler. That's like everything I've ever been called in my life. Dude, we can, uh, <laughs> how many people do you want? All the shows, all the comics? Who else? That's uh, like a lot so yeah. far. No, I was just thinking like 15, I like that. All the 20. shows, all the comics. I love that. Plus one. 
All their families? Yeah. Uh, it's not a family thing, I don't yeah, think. But it could get be. Get a couple kegs. Let's fucking do this. I don't know. We'll probably just, yeah, maybe a BYOB situation. Maybe we can have a giveaway. I have. No, I don't want to do hey, that. Fans, yes. <laughs> Dude, I have a fucking friend who's an angel dust dealer. No, I, I don't. I can bring him up there. We all smoke angel dust. <laughs> I don't need any dust. I don't... It's fucking so much fun. No, though. I know. It's I'm not a, dust it. It's not a relapse if you're doing it for the show. Right. I've heard good things. Yeah, no, but I don't want to. I don't want to do all that. Did you ever do an Angel Dust? I never did it. No, Constantly. not oh. you did. when I was a kid, yeah. Did you? It's the worst fucking high, and we did it all the time. What did it make you feel like? It made you feel like you were paralyzed tripping is the best. Like you didn't have, your fucking mind was crazy, but then your body wouldn't do shit. Sometimes we would call people knickknacks because they would fall into this almost like they were just, they couldn't fucking move. And they were like, you the knick-knack at your grandma's house. And we think that was <laughs> hilarious. Why would you keep doing it? Just because that's the shit that you had? Never turn down a drug or alcohol until I quit. Never. Never. Oh. Never once said no. I went back and tried to figure out, hey, was there a time that I went, no, I can't do that. I'm on my way to school or to a funeral. Never turned it down. So I was just like, this shit sucks. And I would still be doing it. How old were you when you started? Uh, 14. And then how old were you when you quit? I quit in increments, so I can never have that one line. Like, I would oh. quit some, I would go, well, here's the problem, this. And, and then, then start to the... abuse something new. Wow. So do you smoke pot a... or anything, or you do nothing? I, now? Yeah. Nothing. I, I honestly feel like I would love to smoke pot, but I feel like that would be like, you know what would really feel good after this weed? That's what I honestly think I would right. do, too. Yeah, it'd be a problem. And I know that sounds pussy, but I just can't, I can't do one. Yeah, I get, and, and and you start to like you're, you're you're feeling good. You just smoked weed, and now you now you can kind of give yourself permission. I, I would say this. I don't even know if I ever thought I, at any time I felt really good. I just felt different, and that's what I was after. Just, just to feel different than I was feeling at that moment. Because you wanted to feel different, or because you liked the idea of like, whoa, I can control. I can just make myself feel different. Don't know. Right. I know that you're supposed to know those things, but I was just like, I just did it. I really wish I could intellectualize it, but I can't. I just fucking did it. Well, Ron, it's like I always say, sober, slow on booze, enjoy the road. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you're right about that. Wow, that's really great. Thanks, Man, Sam. I'm doing, that really I'm doing is. so good now. I'm up to one week at a time. I'm not one of these one day at a wow. time. Absolutely. Seven days. <laughs> Seven fucking days. <laughs> so you wake up in the morning and go, yeah. I know, I'm good for a week. Yeah. yeah. I'm good. I'll take the glasses, just put on, that's it. That's all. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. Doing it. I'll do that in meetings. I'll act like it is. I'll act like I'll have an aspirin, but I chop it all up and snort it. Right. Yeah, hey, it's good for you. It's aspirin. Now go, yeah. what are you doing? You go, it's aspirin. I got you guys. I told you yep. I'm good. Or I bring cider in a shot glass and I, I gently <laughs> spin it with ice in it and drink it slowly. I do miss copping, though. There was something about going to get drugs. That was a very exciting feeling. Because it was dangerous? I don't know. I just felt like... It's part well, of the this ritual. This is exciting. This yeah. is going to be great. We're getting it. Oh, and it's then... It's coming. The guy's here. We're going to see the guy right now. Is it like when you realize that I think I'm going to have sex with this girl later tonight, but like like, like that feeling of like, oh my God, I know where this is going. I know what's going to happen after this. It was like, I'm going to do coke with this girl later tonight. That's <laughs> yeah. how I would feel. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I'm going to have sex with this person. Right. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do coke off this girl's clit. That's how we, that, that kind of excitement. Right, right. Okay. That you never did any drugs. No, I've never, no. I've never done any drugs. I never, never licked I, a clit. Never I'm drank. Gonna, I have done that. I'm going to make... A fucking promise to you, my friend. Okay. I'm going to dose you. Why, why would you <laughs> be in here? And you will be dosed. I wish I'm you wouldn't. I'm not going to say what is going to happen. Right, no. Maybe at the barbecue. <laughs> that really you know. uh, leaves me feeling paranoid and vulnerable. What are you going to dose wish... him with? Acid? I don't know. It might be acid. It might be DMT. So you really fucking did the spiritual drug for you? That scene in, uh, in, uh, uh, in Training Day always freaks me out. When he's that like, was dust, when too. he's like, yeah, just have some weed, and he thinks he's smoking weed, and then yeah. Denzel just says, "I know you like to get wet," yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, "Oh my god, it's in my system now. I can't undo this." Dude, I've talked to a lot of people who said that's the real Denzel. <laughs> like, the Denzel in that movie. Is I hope the so. Fucking guy that you I know. hope so. He's so yeah. fucking cool in that movie. He's amazing, isn't he? He's the best. I didn't love that movie, but I love him. What didn't you like? The unhappy ending. You know, I don't remember the ending. It yeah. was, but it was more like a Scarface <laughs> gimme Oscar. It was, like, yeah. it was like a fucking 
He should have got it for Malcolm X. Dude, I, oh, I that, that fucking movie is unbelievable. He should have gotten it for that. He didn't even get nominated. I don't think he's unbelievable in that movie. Yeah, he's I great. There, but there Hurricane, was he was great in. So much tension in that scene when he realizes that Denzel drove away, and he's stuck in the house with the Mexican Fuck, gang. Man. And then they start going like, "Hey, you ever get your shit pushed in?" And I'm like, "Oh my, oh no." <laughs> They're gonna push your shit. They're gonna push your yeah. shit, and there's nothing he can do. Yeah. yeah. Did you scream yes at the television? <laughs> <laughs> Ethan no, Hawke <laughs> is in probably more classic movies than most fucking people. He's been in a lot of great movies. He's got a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he was. Not, thank you, Trevor. He was nominated, but did Here's what Denzel does better than anybody in movie history: slap a cup off the table. Yeah. No yeah. one slaps a cup. He did it in. Uh, 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 American Gangster, when he's talking in the thing and he fucking God, slaps the fun. coffee yeah. off. Too, man. I he love can American slap Gangster. a cup of coffee like nobody has ever slapped. A it's it's incredible. I love his use of his hands. Light. Oh yeah, that's good. My man. Yeah, my he was man. so good. My in that. man. Yeah, that that might be that or actually my favorite things he ever did. He was so good. I in love that. Malcolm X too. Uh, yeah, American Gangster was Glory, good. Glory when he had that that's one right. fucking right. tear running down his. When he's getting whipped. Yeah, and he just had one fucking tear. He did yeah. that next too when he met Elijah Muhammad. That fuck, he's great, man. That sounds the fucking shit. The Demi Moore tear. He can do that like when when he was getting whipped and and the quivering lip. It, it was yeah. incredible. You know what? Somebody else. Uh, I think it was uh, somebody who had directed him said that if he decides to not be recognized, he could just put on a hat, walk through Times Square, and he goes, and one second later, he'll just look up and decide to give a look, and the fucking place will mad rush And then he becomes Denzel. He, he can become Denzel. That's amazing. Yeah. And I knew a chick who was a model. She was... Uh, a, a playmate. Well, I probably fucked and, her. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she told me that. She said you had sex with her. Well, you tried to have sex with her. She said, for whatever reason, it was a bad night for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was cold. He had taken Dramamine. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. But but she would, she would just decide to like glow. Just be a model. Yeah, and people would come in and take a picture. You'd see her. She would come in and do the show with me. She looked like shit. And then somebody can I get a picture and you just see her turn beautiful. It like, happens boom. once in a while. That's you amazing. just do it. Like I, I find myself doing that times. Like I'm what are just you talking about <laughs> because all of a sudden there's a Wait, different person. That fucking. Oh my god! It's the guy from Netflix. It's yeah, Jim. That's Blue Steel. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a great movie too. Zoolander. It's underrated. Did, did you watch two though? Blue two Zoolander was didn't really make bad. It feel. Two was really, really bad. Which one? Zoolander two. And see the one. I know Horrible. You, I know you guys got to wrap up, but I wanted to ask you about one thing. Sure. What's that? Before, you know, we get out of here. And I just want to plug that I'm not doing the Patrice uh, benefit for this mural. Uh, but yeah, Voss yeah I wasn't doing the mural benefit either. Boss is gonna go to it. <laughs> uh, I want to know what the problem was with it. I uh, have it always hated the classiest organization. In uh, football, the New York Giants. Oh. I've always made fun of Eli Manning, but that fucking literally broke my heart. The way they treated that guy last night. It was heart wrenching. Yes. You and know what, him? though? He's still, apparently, he's still, I didn't know how much time he had for the record. It was two years. Ah, oh, fuck him. Sit down. This dude has never been hurt. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. Favre played hurt is all he, the time. Is he playing terrible, Eli? No. The, he's it's not a protected. Bad team. It's a bad yeah. organization, but look, here's where I put Eli Manning in terms of fucking quarterbacks. He beat the greatest fucking team of my lifetime twice, right? That's right, yeah. Joe Frazier is one of the greatest of all time because he beat Ali once. Joe Frazier is in the short list because he beat Muhammad Ali. This fucking Eli Manning, the fucking weird kid that he is, Beat the undefeated team. Yeah. What the fuck? He it's, did. He has Brady and the Patriots number. He, he's the only guy that has their number is Eli Manning. Yeah, it's amazing that that's not enough for a lifetime. Who's the coach of the Giants? It's not. It's not Tom. Uh, it's, what's his name? It's, uh, McAdoo. McAdoo. Yeah. He's gone by the end of the year. Hopefully. So why are they letting him sit, Eli? I don't know. Uh, unless even... it comes from above. Sorry, buddy. Unless it comes yeah. from above him. Unless they're worried about him getting hurt because they want to get rid of him. And they're like, fucking just keep him protected because he still has value. I wonder if they're going to get rid of him as a giant. And they, they the last thing we need is this guy or getting they hurt. Or it... they could want to protect him for next season. This organization. Maybe. Because this season, I mean, they're no, two and nine. They're done. He's done. He'll never play for them again. But this organization owns owes that fucking kid. Yes. You. There are certain fucking people, the way they played... That you want them. when the Yankees, 
there are certain people they let stay around an extra couple years because sure. they fucking owe them. Right. You know? Yeah, I mean, they did. They did. Um, I, and, but, and regardless of the motive, like the method that... The, terrible. It was what was really the method bad. they did? They told him, we're going to start you next for the record. We're going to give you the first half. Yeah. But we're going to take you out of the second. And like, he goes, you can't... He goes, I'm not going to taint the record by that. You know what I mean? They need to say, this is our guy... Until he's not, or play out the end of the Especially season. Especially because they don't have any, anyone to replace him with. Well, are they say, is it to protect them, though? Is it because, like, we're such garbage this year, we need you for next year? Rob's telling me. He'll never play that And again. this is a good theory, is that they want to lose out so that they can get a higher <clears throat> draft pick. And Eli's the kind of guy who's going to try to win games. That makes sense. So if you put I, Gino in there, you who, by the way, is going to be the first black quarterback to start a Giants game. Is that right? Oh, yeah, man. Right. Oh, you do. See, yeah. now I'm even angrier with the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> that was a streak they should have kept going. I always liked that about them. And he was even further from the streak than I thought. Favre's record is 297. He was five and a half seasons away. He's 210, Eli? right? But yeah, he's, he's not even close. Fuck even, this no, dumb streak. But, but it's his thing. It's him. Yeah. It, this is his dignity. Let ah, him make take his a call. seat. You That's a shitty way to do it. Guy. Yeah. You owe him. And the fact that he was sobbing like that... It was really I bad. Watch though. It. I watched it. I left. Uh, well, did, As a Jim, man, I left. You have a lot more edge than the rest <laughs> of us do. What did you do, Jeff? I left. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I cry, boy. Cry. <laughs> uh, Ron, I told a you. A man I, laughs. Hold on, the great Santini is Jason. Hey, please. sports fans. <laughs> hey, you gonna drop tumors, honey? <laughs> hey, don't sports fans. And then Big A is like, I, I, I'm gonna get you, Red. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that. Son yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, tumor stuff. Oh God, tumor out of me. Shoot you. I'm sorry. <laughs> fucking uh, Michael Rooker was great in that. Yeah. Holy fuck, was he great? Was that Michael Rooker? That was Michael Rooker. Yeah. You want to watch a little of, uh, was of, that, was of David, Eli yeah. breaking down yesterday? Was it David Keith or Michael Rooker? I'd rather just watch Great Santini for a while. Me, so would I. He's apologizing to you. He's saying he's going to have to practice to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you going to cry? Come squirt, sports fans. Why yeah, you yeah. scared? Mommy's little baby. Yeah, that's he's right. fucking great. <laughs> that's right. While you eat cotton, while the Roberts eat cotton candy, the, the Meachams do something else. I don't remember. It's been 20 fucking years since I've seen that dumb film. <laughs> Hey, hey, boy! Hey, boy! <laughs> the South was so great. The sound, <laughs> the sound of those honey jars uh, dropping. Oh, it's like it's like music. I'm gonna go home and watch that right now. It's all I want to see. I am the great Santini. He was so good when he was running along the basketball court, just fucking yelling, "You take him out!" That's or right. Come home. It yeah, was he, so fucking. You take him out, or I take you out. Yeah. I think that's what he said. That uh, might be the greatest actor of all time. Fuck Denzel and his bullshit. Well, Duvall oh, is good. He's shit. very varied. He can play a country guy. His <laughs> shitty tango dancing, which no one gives a fuck about. Yeah. You want to play an assassin? He's got to be a tango dancer. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we want Duvall. We don't have the budget. He wants to tango dance and murder people. Yeah. Dude, I, uh, I know people that have tango dance with him. He'll just fucking be at local places. Absolutely. Right? In New York and down there, yeah. And he has a barn... That has that he sets up so tango dancers go there and they're just like regular fucking people. He doesn't hang out with stars. He wants to tango dance with people. Yeah. All I would do is tango dance and fucking accidentally do Godfather quotes. <laughs> <laughs> I would learn to tango just to do it with Tom Hagen. You just come up. Do you still love the smell of napalm in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> trying to fucking dance right now. Yeah. As I'm dancing, I just stop and go, maybe I could help. <laughs> Here's my favorite movie of his. Yeah. The Apostle. I could fucking watch that crazy movie. I don't think I've ever seen The Apostle. What? I don't think so. You didn't see The The part of The Apostle that I loved and and I thought was so amazingly well done is when he is breaking down when his wife is with the kid, his ex-wife, and the and the new younger boyfriend, and he's trying to just take them from the little league game. And he's going, Come on, let's go, let's go. And he's just watching this he it's lost. And he knows it's lost. And he picks up a bat and he fucking hits the other guy with it. I think he killed him, right? It's, yeah, it's an aluminum bat, and yeah. so you hear that chink. The clunk. Uh. Of a guy's fucking head. Yeah, what if Woody Allen did, wrote something. He, Woody Allen's third book, his book, uh, the, whatever the most recent was, he said something about a, the clunk off a head that sounded like he got hit in the head, and it sounded like the thunk of a, of a ball when you hit a triple. It's one of the best references to a person really? getting struck in the head, because what a baseball sounds like when you hit a triple. It's wow. a beautiful sound. Terrible. Yeah, terrible, show-stopping terrible reference. Terrible no, because no, I couldn't no, because no, I couldn't no, think I couldn't think about what he was referencing. Right. But the sound in the apostle when he's breaking down, he picks yeah. up that fucking bat and he cracks that guy in the head. Oh, and just that ting. 
he just he's, his wife won't come with him. It's like a ting and a thud at the same time. They're leaving with the other guy, and he's like, "Come on, come on!" He's just trying to make it. He's trying to make it not so, and he just can't do it. Great. Well, uh, his wife is um, Fair Fawcett. Was and she in that one? She was Fair Fawcett. Was the wife? She was older. I did not remember that. Yeah. And. Uh, they are forcing majors like, to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Be respectful. You know what? I apologize. Be respectful. Absolutely. I apologize. Uh, because Lee Majors, the stuntman, was a fucking amazing actor. Six million dollar man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I said. Uh, uh, I like. He's also on that short list of guys who have sung their own theme song. And he, when he had his fucking. The show that was on after Six Million Dollar Man. I think he was like a stuntman who. Fucking went and uh, arrested criminals or some shit. And he sang the song to yeah. it. Yeah, and it was he sang the theme song. So it's him. It's Will Smith. Will Smith has pulled it off. There was also Chip Chipperson. Chip Chipperson. Yeah, and, yes, he does sing. Him the and song. then Jamie Jaston. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes, that's it's all true. the greats. That's true. That's right. All the real greats have done that. That's right. All the fucking confident greats. Travis is saying we have to break shortly. Okay. Um... We had, do you want to? Uh, what time you end the show? Eleven. Uh, well, probably I always quarter thought of. You ended at ten. I don't know why no, I right thought before. that. Yeah, yeah. We ended yeah. at eleven. We're eight with the eight to eleven. Mm. Eight do you want to eleven boys? You want to watch a little bit of Eli before we take a break? I do. Yeah. Okay. Eli Manning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And Roth. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Yeah. With you over the last two days. Yeah, uh, Coach Mack, uh, you know, called me and told me he's a simple guy. Uh, yeah, he's just, yeah. You know, what, he just uh, has his simple pleasure. Exactly. Time and dumb quivering lip. And, uh, Man up. You know, now we're, uh, you know, just kind of thought it's best is give uh, give Gino the start, and and uh, you know, I'll back him up. I'll be a good teammate. You know, I don't like it, but uh, it's for football, you. Whoever it, told and, uh, you that you could work with men? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it, but didn't he say you also had the right to say, "Look, I want to start"? That's like a New York sports report. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just didn't think that's uh, hey, you start knowing you're gonna come out of the game, um, you know, to keep a streak alive. Maybe that's not that's not what it's about, you know. You to, fairy. To, you know, it's not it's not a preseason game where hey, you're gonna play a, a you know start to the half. What's the next week? A quarter? A series? That's not uh that's, that's not, that's not I also fair. don't know why fair. he's like uh, being interviewed in this moment. I know it's not the best time, is it? Like why are they like every oh, they they all got their recorders yeah, and Yeah, that's right. news though. Everybody just jumping in front of him like yeah. maybe, like maybe get in front of a uh, one of those desks where you can kind of control a little bit, maybe have somebody speak for you cuz he's a he's a football player. He's this not is part a, of it. Yeah, talk about a word smith. Go in there and fucking uh he's not even a Geno Smith. <laughs> Ugh, <that's so> sad. <laughs> just... Now the um... come on, tied in nicely. First black quarterback, racist organization. I was listening to Mike Francesa's rant on this yesterday. Was yeah. he unhappy about it? Yeah, he good. Was then I'm happy about it. He was sit down, Eli. He was great. Did I want to tell change them. During it? Huh? Did he stay awake during his rant? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what, what he does is he'll go on a rant like this and he'll go crazy, but he'll use all his energy. So for the rest for of the five-hour show, show, he's dozing <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a little kid. Like he has these giant outbursts <laughs> and stuff, and he's got to go down for a nap. We got a, we got a couple clips of uh, Mike Francesa. Yeah. Yeah. Eastside Dave, by the way, at the game Sunday, is going to light himself in, on fire in the parking lot. Um, Eastside Dave's going to light himself on fire? Yes, there's a way, because he's an Eli fan, and he's also been, I know you guys haven't seen him well. Oh, like one he's of those monks? Lot, yeah, he's doing a lot of transcendental meditation, oh. and he feels like if he lights himself on fire, wow, uh, perhaps the Giants would turn the, around on this. I think it could happen. I believe so. I, I think told it's him it's a great idea. Yeah, it's worth doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Travis, you got clips? This is a desperate move by a desperate guy who is clinging, clinging. And the fact that John Mara has not separated himself from this fool is, is hard to believe. Audio and sucks. I to tell you that we'll be okay if we try to bring Eli back next year. First of all, if I'm active, I won't be talking about next year. Secondly, that's the message. That's the message you're going to allow this coach who is clearly in a desperate mode right now. He's got a game plan. We haven't seen a game plan all year from this guy. Since he's been the head coach, the Giants have never scored 30 points ever. <laughs> ever. 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 Yeah. I don't want to hear Tell us how you really feel, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the syrup on his tonsils. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He gets pissed. <laughs> kind of sounds like somebody's got a tape recorder on the radio, though. I don't know if I need to hear all those clips. But, uh, no. yeah, he was pissed. You're a little rough on He was furious. Yeah. 
You were a little rough on him. Oh. Well, no, I don't think... I mean, he's doing the best he can over Exactly. There. Is he? And, yeah, he's in those funny jeans. <laughs> yeah, that sure true. is. He calls what? them dungarees. <laughs> yeah. He goes, what is Jim's problem with my dungarees? <laughs> <laughs> it's where he hides the good audio in his dungarees. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> this one, huh? <laughs> How about one more? I don't, all right. One whatever. More. We haven't seen anything except I gotta Sounds go like look shit. at the tape from this guy all year. It's not good. And now you're going to tell me that your plan is to go to Geno Smith? That's the game plan that's going to beat the Raiders this week? you got to be kidding me. I love you can't run mad. this clown out of town I can't fast enough. The, cheese cloth the worst thing ever happened to Eli Manning had to be associated like with you as head coach. That's why I'm like, forget it, forget it. All right, turn it off. Forget it. Maybe on your way out, you can take a look at it. Because it's not radio audio. It's, the, gonna get it's a tape recorder next to a radio. Who did that? I don't care. Travis. Wait. I don't I don't care who did it. No, no, no. Hold on. Travis, where's that from? Travis does this to annoy Jim. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I actually asked yeah. you, really? No, he doesn't. Shut up, yeah. Jim. Actually, Ron. What, am I autistic? <laughs> no. No, Ron. That's not true. Tra- wait, now, where's that audio from? It, it's, uh, uh, Anthony. Why would, it doesn't matter. Is it really? It doesn't matter. I'm not even joking. Anthony fucking taped that in his car on the way in? Of course he did. <laughs> wait, but hold on. He didn't, Anthony didn't tape it. He just gave us no, a link he, to it? Yeah. 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 Was there other, is there other versions of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. We got to take a break anyway. So he just, we got yeah, we got to take a break. He just gave us that. Of course he did. I wasn't even joking. No, I know, I know. But I knew what it was. That's why I was like, oh, forget it. I didn't know it was coming before he did the thing. But it, yeah, that's why I was like. Can you ask him how he got that audio? Did he? Huh? huh? This is gonna bother me all night. Well, it bothered me, and I don't want to like. Then it, I don't want to pick on him. But I'm like, picking on him. It's a, it's a I fair know. thing. You're gonna be sitting around you, walking around your house, drinking Maalox tonight. This fucking job's killing me. Yeah, like what? Do we, uh, yeah, oh, it's hard to sell real estate. <laughs> <laughs>